Now we're going to talk about circle. Circle is one of the most popular and most common shape in the world. It is also one of the most used shape in the world. It is not polygon because it is not composed of line segments. So first, what is the definition of a circle? A circle is a set of all points in a plane that are of the same distance from a fixed point called center. A circle is named by the symbol a circle with an, a point in the middle in its center. For example, this is a circle. So a circle, this is, if this is a fixed point, all of these points here in the circle is equidistant or have the same distance towards the point P. So lahat ito, lahat ng points dito is magkapareho kung ang layo nito dito sa point P. So this circle is called circle P or this one where point C is the center. This is the center, it's the point C. So there are other parts of a circle that we need to know. The first one is the radius. The radius is a line segment from the center towards the cen any point on the circle. So if this is the center, point A, and this is a point on the circle so if you connect that by a line segment that's called radius so if there are many radius it's called radii so if there are one or two or more it's called radii so radius this radius is called a b line segment a b for this one if you notice they are all um they have the same characteristics so ito ang dulo nito is on the circle Ang dulo nito is on the circle. Ang dulo nito ay both nasa circle. Lahat sila line segment na ang dulo is on the circle. So, it's, it is a line segment whose endpoints are on the circle. Ang tawag dyan are chords. They are chord RS. Ang tawag pangalan nito is si chord RS or line segment RS, um, line segment QT, line segment OP. However, if you notice, one of the chord is the longest, and if it is the longest, it passes through the center. So, it passes through the center. Kapag ang chord is dumaan sa center, ang tawag dyan is diameter. However, this one is also a chord, but the difference is there is a specific name to this chord, which is called diameter. And the diameter is called line segment. This diameter is line segment QT. If you draw a line again, or draw a chord here, so if this is L, so this is chord or line segment OL, this, diam this is a chord and this is also a diameter. Kung gaano to kahaba, this is also have the same distance with QT, OL have the same distance with QT, they are congruent. Next, this one, ang kaiba nito sa chord is, it passes through dito. But hindi siya nag-end lang dyan. So lumampas pa siya and it is a line. Kasi kapag may arrow, ang tawag dyan is a line. Kapag there's no arrow, there's line segment only. So this one is called a second. A second is a line which passes through two points on the circle. So dalawang points. So ibig sabihin, kapag may isa, may tawag rin dyan. So kapag isa lang dumaan lang siya dito sa circle, nag-touch lang siya sa one point, ang tawag dyan is tangent. And tangent is kapag saan siya dumaan, that's the point of tangency. Kung saan siya saan niya na-intersect yung circle, yung tawag dyan is point of tangency. So, point P is the point of tangency. So, sa, the, the tangent is called this one, line M, and the second is line L. So, line L, ang second, ang tangent naman is si line M, and this point is called the point of tangency. Next thing we need to know is the arc. Arc is a curved line whose um which is a part of a circle for example if you only take note or you only wanted to this part ito lang na part na circle so ang tawag dyan is si arc ab so this is a minor arc because it's a smaller arc usually it is if it is less than 180 that's a minor arc if it is greater than that that's a major arc However, kapag, kapag ganito lang ang gusto mo ma-identify, it's arc AB. However, if it is ABC, if this arc 
if you are referring, referring to this part of the circle, ABC, so that's a major arc and it is arc ABC. So if this is on the, uh, you are talking about this one, that's arc AB, but if you are referring to this one, a, B, C. Major arc usually uses three letters while minor arc uses only two letters. So we'll proceed with an activity. So first one, we're going to identify the center, the radii, the course, diameter, so on and so forth. So this is a circle and it's circle. The name of the circle is circle O. Circle O or like that. Number one, identify the center. The center is point P, point O, sorry, or point O. Radii, give me, give me two radii. So there are only two radii, radii or radius. Give me a radius. First is, galing dapat sa center, patungo ng any part of the circle. So ito lang, O, N. So O, N. And O, P. Or PO or OP. Again, galing siya sa center patung sa any part of the circle. So, yung line segment na ganun, that's a radi. Chord. A chord is a line segment whose endpoints are in the circle or on the circle. So, first is ito siya, NP. Very good. And LS. Ito. Can you consider this one? Alam ba kung galing ng dito patungo dyan, pwede yan. MP. So, pwede line segment MP. Pero kung pag line na, it's not already a chord. Alam ba, ganito na siya. That's MP. Anong pinakaiba nitong MP na ito at saka MP na ito? This MP refers to this one. Yung line, kasali, kasali dito yung arrow. But this one, MP, ibig sabihin, dit, hal, galing ng dito, patungo lang dyan. That's line segment MP. So, hindi to kasaling sa taas. So, that's still a chord. But if you're going to extend it, that's already a second. Next, we'll proceed with number 4, the diameter. Diameter is a chord that passes through the center. There's only one which is called line segment NP. We answer already the second. It is a line that passes through two parts of the circle or two, two points on the circle. Tangent. Tangent is it passes through one point on the it intersects the circle at exactly one point. And it is this one. So we're going to use two two lines or two points on the line so to name it so ano yung points and dalawang points na nandito sa line so it's s itong p hindi yan siya nasa line pero parang nasa line na so we'll add one letter it's, it's lacking one letter that's ls or sl line sl or ls the point of tangency is point s Saan siya tumama sa circle? It's point S. So, ito siya. It's as if it, it is touches but it's actually not. Points on the interior. Mga points na nasa loob ng circle. So, it's point, points, O, and G. J, rather. So, point O and point J. Sa labas naman ng circle, points in the exterior. Sa labas ng circle, it's point K and point, meron pang isa. Point L. Itong point L nasa labas siya. Itong point K nasa la, labas rin. Points on the circle. Ano yung mga points na nasa circle? Ito yung circle. So, the points there are points N, points, points N, M, L, S, and P. So, itong P, S, L, M, N are points on the circle. That ends our discussion on circle. Thank you.